we're going to take a look at the way we can name ranges in our data so it's a little easier to refer to them and we can use words instead of complicated references like the sheet name and range. First off, in the number of tasks column, I'm looking at this other sheet, this other tab called project data, and anytime I find the value in cell A3, I want to count it. So we're referencing project data column A through A. So instead of having to reference that sheet name and the range, we can name this column something like project and then just use that word to reference it. So we're going to start in the section we want to name. I'm going to select the range, go to data, named ranges, and the panel opens on the side. I'm going to pick a nice name that's easy to remember and clear what it references and type that in the top. The second one is just to confirm I have the correct range selected. This is what the word project will reference. I'll go ahead and click on done. Going back to our main sheet, the other formula we're using is an average formula to look for this project number and every time we find it, we want to see the percent complete and do an average calculation on that. So let's also name our F column as percent. So we're going to select the column, go to data, named ranges. I'm going to name this one percent. The column is F, so the range is correct. I'll click done. So now we have these two ranges here. can modify them if I needed to through the pencil, but we're ready to write our formulas easier now. Back to our main sheet, we'll start with a count if formula. So in this formula, what we're doing is we're looking in the range, that project range in the other sheet. Anytime we see the project number from this row, I want to count it. So what we're going to do is replace this sheet name and range with our new named range project. As you start typing a named range, it's going to come up with suggestions that match with this little sheet symbol here. You can click on it to enter it and you'll see it will take on a color to see it references data rather than being an actual word. If I click enter, I'll see my new formula is a lot easier to look at, a lot easier to understand, and it works great. Going on to this other formula here where we're doing an average, we're counting up all the times we find this project number and we are looking for the sum of all of the percents that have this project number and doing an average calculation. So we've created the two ranges of percent and project. Column A again is project, so I can replace anywhere I see column A with our project one. And column F was percent, I can replace that with percent. And then we have, again, a much easier to look at formula. And it works great. We have a similar tool here using the average if formula. It's averaging any time the values match again, this value in the row here in cell A4. So we can do the same thing we did here, put in our named ranges of project and percent. And we have much, much cleaner, easier to understand formulas using named ranges.